And finally, to all of my fellow senators and all the many people who work here in the Senate. I'd be lying if I didn't say I was worried about this place. It just doesn't work as well as it used to. The Senate has been so enjoyable for me, but I must admit it puts the fun in dysfunction. Peter Morgan, an author, said no family is complete without an embarrassing uncle. We have too many embarrassing uncles in the United States Senate. Lots of embarrassing stuff. The United States Senate is no longer the world's greatest deliberative body. And everybody needs to quit saying it until we recover from this period of polarization and the fear of the political consequences of tough votes. Writing legislation behind closed doors. Giant omnibus bills that most don't know what's in them. K Street lobbyists knowing about the tax bill manager's package before even senators. That's today's Senate. And no amendments. Solving the toughest problems will not happen without tough votes. We can talk about the toughest problems. We can visit about them. We can argue about them. We can campaign on them. But we're not going to solve them without tough votes. It will not happen. My first year in the Senate was 2007. <coughs> We voted on 306 amendments in 2007. This year, as of yesterday, we voted on 36. That's a remarkable difference. Something is broken, and if we don't have the strength to look in the mirror and fix it, the American people are going to grow more and more cynical, and they might do something crazy by, like elect a reality TV star president. I'm not kidding. That's one of the reasons this has happened. Power has been dangerously centralized in the Senate. We like to say, oh, we can't change the rules. We just like the House. We kind of are like the House, guys. We kind of are. A few people are writing the legislation. A few people are making the decisions. We have to throw off the shackles of careful, open the doors of debate, reclaim the power of members and committees, and most of all, realize that looking the other way and hoping that everything will work out later is a foolish idea. And for gosh sakes, debate and vote on amendments.